how the horse reacts to what they're telling me tells me are they being truthful wow and so then you get to dig a little deeper from a you know from a coaching perspective it's helpful to dig deeper yeah and so it's really more of how's the horse reacting to when they're telling me something so the horse determined that was a lie yeah exactly <laughs> yeah no um no i think the horse is telling you they're calling bs on you <laughs> Well, you told me, and you talked about, you know, trying to get the horse going the different way uh-huh. and, and correlating that. Mm-hmm. You told me about a young lady who had a relationship mm-hmm. and how the horse would... Yeah, so this young lady that I had worked with, she, uh, we would work with my two horses. This is when I didn't have my farm, so I was at a different barn. And so Preston, my trail horse, he's special in many ways. And so what he likes to do is, well, he knows he's special, (laughs) which actually helps makes the story work. So we're in the pasture with April and Trooper. We're doing, you know, our normal coaching. Well, Preston would come up and he'd run to the fence and he'd look over and he'd look at this young lady and she'd turn and she'd say hi to him. And then he'd just like, "Mm," and he'd turn around and run away. And so this happened a couple of times when she was coming and And she said, well, that's really annoying. Why does he do that? And I said, because he can. (laughs) And I said, does this show up anywhere in your life? Where does, do you you have something in your life that mimics this? And she said, no, no. And so the next week she came out, he did it again. And this time she almost got to the point where she could touch him and pat his nose. And he turned around and ran away. And she's like, that is really annoying. And I said, all right, it has to be showing up in your life somewhere. And she looked at me, she goes, it is. I have this young man that I was dating that we're no longer dating anymore. And he will date other people, but yeah, he'll come to me when he feels like he wants to tease me to get back into a relationship with him. And so she's like, he shows up and then he disappears and he shows up and disappears. And so I said, well, how does it make you feel when Preston does that to you? She goes, it irritates me. And I said, so when this young man does this to you, how does it make you feel? And she looked at me very oddly, and she says, it irritates me. And I said, have you ever acknowledged that? And she said, no. And so it was a perfect opportunity to dig into that a little bit deeper. And I can honestly tell you that a month and a half later, she shared with me that the young man came, reached out to her before Christmas, and she told him, we can't do this anymore because this bothers me. It's not healthy for me. We're done. Awesome. Yeah. So awesome. And it's just because I have this crazy horse that just would <laughs> run to the fence. And they mimic the things that happen in our lives. And we just, I don't understand it, but they do. 